lads, welcome back to another video. This one is going to be kind of looking forward to this weekend's games. In particular for me, it's Falkirk away. Obviously the big derby game for Dunfermline. It's a massive weekend for a lot of football fans. There's a lot of derbies going on this weekend, especially in Scotland. I'm going to kind of run through them, give my predictions for them and my thoughts on it. Just briefly really. And then touch on, of course, the Dunfermline and Falkirk game as well. Because that's the one that I'm going to specifically. So, hey, enjoy the video. So we'll start off with the Scottish Premiership and of course the big one is Rangers v Celtic. It's at Ibrox so Rangers have got the sort of upper hand here. Celtic are obviously going into it after the 4-3 win at Aberdeen the other night and it was a very good result for them. I mean for them to win 4-3 it's a very good result and especially at Aberdeen because they have picked up recently. Aberdeen that is. And obviously getting a win up at Pataudry no matter how it comes is a good result. Scott Sinclair getting on the score sheet as well, he's not exactly performed to the heights that he has in recent seasons but that's obviously three massive goals for him and then someone like Odson Edward coming off the bench, it's not exactly a bad player to come off the bench and get on the score sheet for you and it just proves the strength and depth that Celtic have and it's no mystery that they do have that, of course they're going to have that, they've got the biggest resources in Scotland really but they're again proving why they are probably going to be Eight in a row champions come May. Although this weekend, of course, it's Rangers playing them, and if Rangers go and win this game, then I believe they go on exact same points as Celtic at the top of the league. Celtic will still stay top of the league because of their goal difference, but it would be a massive incentive for Rangers to actually win a uh, Old Firm or Glasgow Derby. Of course, Rangers have been kind of struggling since their sort of demise six years ago, I believe it was, and then of course since they've made their rise back up. They've beaten Celtic once, I believe, and that was on penalties in a Scottish Cup or League Cup tie. It was definitely a Cup tie at Hamden. As far as credible results go, Rangers have only really managed draws against Celtic, and then of course they've had their pumpings as well. I suppose that's the best way you can put it, I suppose. They've been beaten 5 1 at Parkhead, I think it was, and 5 1 at Ibrox, so they won't want a repeat of that one, especially the Ibrox result this weekend coming. And for Steven Gerrard, it could be a massive, massive victory. Although, with the way he's going and the things that he's saying before the game, it sounds like he's trying to just staunch his way to victory. It's a massive game, of course, as it always is, this kind of old form Glasgow Derby sort of thing. But, I'm going to go for a Celtic win. I can't really see much else, if I'm honest. And if there's Rangers fans here and you feel a bit aggrieved by that, then I apologise. But it's just my general opinion. I just think that Celtic are going to go on and win the title once again. It will definitely be closer this season, but I just think that overall, really make a shout for it next season. Steven Gerrard needs his time. Of course, the Edinburgh Derby is the next biggest game. I do predict that this one will be a draw. They often are. Both teams have kind of been on a bit of a topsy-turvy run of form in recent times. Hibs picked up and then they dropped points. and Same with Hearts as well. They've been dropping points, then picking up three and stuff like that. So... I would think that this one will be another draw and it's probably the second biggest derby in Scotland. I don't think there's any doubt about that this weekend. It'll be an interesting one. It's live on Sky Sports so if you want to watch it you can. But I'm going to plump with a draw. I'm not going to say the exact scoreline. I just think it'll be a stalemate. The next biggest derby in the Premiership is Hamilton v Motherwell. It's probably been sparked up more just recently by the whole debacle with Motherwell's sort of singing crew and Hamilton's sort of crew as well, although I don't really know if Hamilton have a proper crew, I just think it's been sort of put together for the derby games and the big games against Rangers and Celtic and stuff like that, but it's kind of been sparked up by Hamilton stealing Motherwell's sort of banners and stuff like that and then Motherwell trying to have a go back at them and trying to have fights with them and stuff like that and it's all been kind of blown out of proportion a bit by all that sort of stuff and in some cases it's been a bit funny. but. I do think that I'm just going to give Motherwell the edge here. It's at Hamilton and although Motherwell aren't exactly playing great football at all at the moment, I don't expect Hamilton to be doing much better either. So I'm going to give Motherwell the edge in this one. It could be a draw easy though because both teams are sort of as bad as each other this season. Hamilton obviously haven't picked up as much points as Motherwell have but there's no doubting that Motherwell has been pretty bang average so far this season and they've not really shaked up any trees and of course neither of Hamilton so I do want to give the edge just to Motherwell 
but I'll sit on the fence a bit with, by saying that I think it could also end up in a draw as well. I'm going to touch on four other derbies in Scotland specifically before I go into the Falkirk Dunfermline one. So first up, Ross County v Inverness. I think this will be a very good game. It's going to be at Inverness this time. I don't really see much difference in it being at Inverness or Ross County if I'm being honest. I don't think there's much advantage for either side because there isn't much fans for these clubs. But I'm going to say that it's going to be another draw. Inverness are draw specialists so far this season. They did get the win last week and so did Ross County. But I do expect these teams to kind of shut each other out and not want to lose the derby basically. So I'm going to make it another draw. Then there's three in League One. There's two Angus derbies. First up, Forfar versus Brecon. Had to look at my screen there to remind myself. Forfar versus Brecon. I mean, it's one of these fixtures that I just can't really think of how to predict. I'm going to go with a... Breaking win, let's say that. Breaking have certainly played better than they did last season, so I'm just going to kind of play my cards close to my chest, I suppose, and not really know much about the fixture at all. And I'm just going to say that it'll be a breaking win. And then you've got Montrose via Arbroath, and I'm actually going to go against the grain and say that Arbroath are going to lose two weeks in a row, and Stuart Petrie will get the win as manager of his Montrose side and kind of stick the boot in Arbroath once more. And then Wraith Rovers, who plays Fife will end up winning their game because it's at Starks Park so they're obviously going to win. They always win at Starks Park until January 19th. So just to clarify there, in League 1 I've got Brecon beating Forfar, Montrose beating Arbroath and Wraith Rovers beating East Fife. And now on to the one that I'm interested in the most, Falkirk v Dunfermline. We need to be doing it on the pitch and all these players that go into that pitch this weekend need to prove why we are still above Falkirk in the league. We have not played anything near what we should be this season and ultimately if we lose this one you know exactly what it's going to be like for Dunfermline fans. It will be poisonous at the game and then afterwards and weeks going on because there's no doubt now that Alan Johnson is going to be given the January transfer window. He's already spoken about strengthening the squad, bringing in a striker, this and that. So it's clear the board are still backing him and ultimately we need to kind of get over the Alan Johnson in and out stuff now no matter what our feelings are about it and I've certainly got my own but I do think that he's just going to get given the rest of the season at least unless we completely capitulate but I just don't see the board sacking anyone especially Alan Johnson during a season and of course we did that with Jim Jeffries a few seasons ago but I think that was slightly different circumstances and I think they're completely behind Alan Johnson right now so we need to get that all out of our heads and just focus on each game as it comes and we need to start winning. And I've been saying it for weeks now and so is everyone else involved with Dunfermline. And this game is the ideal one to do it and of course it is. The last time we went to the Volkirk Stadium, we won that game. And the last time we came to East End Park, they beat us. So, it's a bit of a topsy-turvy one. Don't know what to expect really. Need to go into it with full positivity and just support the team for the 90 minutes and make sure that we come out with a win and they don't go and enjoy the new year off the back of a another derby win. I'm going to stick my neck out on the line and say we're going to win 1-0 and that could end up coming back to bite me, of course it could, easily because of how we've played so far this season and even though Falkirk haven't won a home game so far this season I wouldn't entirely put it past us to not win. I'm quietly confident but I'm also I've got the bit of nerves of the fixture just not going the way that we kind of expect it to, I suppose. We all want to go into the game expecting that our team's going to win, but I just don't know if it's going to happen. So, as I said, I'm going to go with a Dunfermline win for that one, and we'll see how it all turns out. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy, please give it a like. Comment down below your predictions for all the games that I said. Remember it's Rangers Celtic, Hibs v Hearts, Hamilton v Mullerwell, Falkirk Dunfermline, Ross County Inverness, Forfar Beacon, Montrose Arbroath and Wraith Rovers East Fife. So let me know your predictions for those in the comments below. And also subscribe for more of this type of content. And until the next video which will obviously be the match day vlog for tomorrow's game. I'll see you then. Cheers guys.